Ever wonder what happens if your car's ECU malfunctions while you're driving? Well, modern vehicles have a clever safety net built right in. It's called the backup function. When a microprocessor inside the ECU runs into trouble, say it stops sending the ignition timing signal, the system doesn't just give up. Instead, it automatically switches control to a backup chip known as the backup IC. This chip is pre-programmed with fixed data for ignition timing and fuel injection duration. These values aren't optimized like in normal operation, but they're good enough to keep your engine running so you can get off the road safely or limp to a repair shop. These fixed values are determined by a couple of things. Mainly the start signal, which detects if the engine is cranking and the idle contact signal. Now, here's something important. When the ECU enters backup mode, your check engine light will come on. But, and this is key, you won't get any diagnostic trouble codes. That's because the main microprocessor isn't running properly to store or output them. And in some newer models, entering backup mode can actually shut down the engine entirely. This is done for safety reasons by cutting off fuel injection. So if your car suddenly stalls or the check engine light comes on and stays on, but no codes are showing, it could be the ECU running on its backup IC. That's your cue to head to a professional and get your ECU checked as soon as possible. Understanding these systems helps you react quickly when something goes wrong and might even save your engine. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more CarTech explainers.